Well, howdy, YouTube. Thought I'd make another video. Real quick, you know? Quick turnaround for once. About specifically the Brighton Star 35mm f0.95 on my Fujifilm X-E2. This is a slick lens so far. Really haven't taken that many pictures with it. But like, it's got a really good aperture click. The apertures are clicked, which I need. Like, if it's a clickless aperture, I'm just not interested. Goes down to 0 0.95, crazy. Such a beautiful lens. It just seems, it's really heavy. It seems like it's built really well for the price. I love the like, black, white, and orange. Kind of reminds me of Halloween. Favorite holiday. It's always cool. Um, yeah, but um, so far I'm enjoying this lens. If you're a Fuji user, I don't know about focus peaking on other cameras, but focus peaking on the Fujifilm system is pretty easy, I think. F0.95, yeah, it is a little tricky to focus, of course. But I feel like people are saying it's harder to focus than it is if you're using a Fujifilm camera. Like, when you're able to zoom in on the image you're focusing on and also have, like, a red outline on that image, it makes it pretty easy to focus, regardless of how small the aperture is, you know? Which is why I love Fujifilm. I, I mean, I'm sure there's great focus peaking in other cameras, but I also like Fujifilm because look at this camera. Look at the dials. <laughs> the rangefinder style, viewfinder to the left, beautiful, oh my god, mwah! But yeah, um, I guess most importantly, you're gonna see the uh, pictures from this lens. I'm a photographer, I don't take videos really. I'm just trying to get into YouTube right now a little bit, so. But um, yeah, that's really all this is for, is taking pictures, so. You're gonna see a bunch of specifically Bright and Star only pictures coming up. Um, hope you enjoy. Thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Sorry if I didn't maybe talk enough about the lens, but I don't know what there is to talk about. It's heavy, which I feel like is important to know. Um, so far, I mean, it seems like good quality. It's like my first Chinese lens that doesn't have vignetting, which is great. I love that. Um, all my TT artisans have, like, some pretty bad vignetting in the corners, but this doesn't. It's, it's an awesome lens so far, so, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Here are some pictures, and once again, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.